welcome back to my channel or if you are new to this channel welcome my name is mary last week i did a video to reasons why you need a rottweiler in your life and as promised today i'm going to give you some reasons to why you might need to double think owning one of these dogs i absolutely love this breed but at the end of the day i would hate to see it go to the wrong person i know sometimes like i said in my last videos i make it look very easy and glamorized but I did spend a lot of time, effort, love, patience, money on Capitan just because it might seem like, oh, that little girl can do it, I can do it too. There was a lot of dedication in between the lines. I know a lot of you guys watch my videos, do have a Rottweiler and already know that that breed is not for everybody and I might be missing some facts. So drop some more comments down below if you're thinking I needed to add something in to people to double think about owning one of these breeds. Like always, if you are new, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, follow Capitan on his own IG. Everything will be linked down below. I want to keep this intro super short and just get right in to this video. So puppy stage is going to be probably the worst ever and it might push you to the edge. And that is not even the Rottweiler, just puppy stage in general is the worst and also the most important time. So you have to be there. Having a puppy is really going to rock your world. I don't think people really realize that. They're gonna think I'm gonna get a dog and it's gonna be all easy peasy. It's gonna potty training is gonna be there, you know. No, you're gonna have to switch up a lot in your life. I mean, especially if you're used to like get up and go, you know, no responsibilities, nothing to worry about. Be prepared to be worried. Um, if you're a type of person that like doesn't wanna be home all the time, Go get yourself a pet snake because they're not going to miss you when you're gone. If you go out all the time, weekends, sleep in, you know, travel a lot, you're going to have to think about this. You have a big responsibility and especially for a Rottweiler, they are looking for you to mold them into that dog. So for any dog, obviously it's a big responsibility, but especially Rottweiler, their puppy stage is the most important. Not everybody's going to be able to get through that. It's going to be really rough. I have had some people be like, you know, I have like this 10 month year old puppy and I just, it's just out of control. I don't want it anymore. Can you adopt it for me? And I'm like, didn't you know that from the beginning that it's going to be like basically having a baby. They look for you for everything and not even through the puppy stage throughout their whole life. They are looking for you. They need you. They want to be around you. A lot of people have to work, but, uh, your dog still needs to go to the bathroom and still needs your attention. So you probably have to dedicate a lot of your lunch time. Well, you should to go check on your dog or have a dog walker or have a dog daycare. Which leads to my next subject. Are you financially ready to own a Rottweiler? Yes, you might have just dropped $2,000 right away and you think you're good to go. Oh no, <laughs> you got puppy shots. You got puppy training. You got to buy all their stuff. They're probably going to destroy something. They're going to pee your carpet. There's going to be a lot more money that you're going to drop and not just for the puppy stage for the rest of your lives. You're not going to, I mean, you might be one of those people that want to go buy that cheap kipple for them, but yeah, it's not going to be the best for their health at the end of the day. Dog insurance, you really need to think about. Emergencies happen. Money is a big issue. That's why I only have a one Rottweiler because I don't think I can afford the vet bills the insurance, the food. So that is why I only have one. <laughs> they cost a lot of money. I know a lot of people think I bought the dog, that's it. No, you gotta be financially ready for them. Are you a pack leader or are you a pushover? I know some of you guys are like, ah, I'm a pack leader. No, what I mean is, can you be loving, kind, patient, but stern at the same time? Because although, you know, you want to love the dog, you don't want them to walk all over you. And if you let them walk all over you, they will when they're 100 pounds. And yeah, having a 100 pound dog growl at you and push you around is not ideal. And that's why most of the time, these dogs end up at the pound because they didn't have anybody to be there to discipline them or take them to the proper training. These dogs need somebody to be the boss. If you're not the boss, they're gonna be the boss of you. And it could be dangerous and that's why sometimes these rottweilers turn on their owners because they are so intelligent and they're like screw you you're not the boss of me you don't take care of me you don't discipline me i'm going to take advantage of you 
So can you be that pack leader? Can you always be the pack leader? Especially if your Rottweiler is going to growl at you. At one point, your Rottweiler will growl at you. And that's the point where you take initiative if you're going to timid down and be like, oh, okay, it was just a one-time thing. Or are you going to be like, no, we're going to nip this in the butt right now. Being a pack leader, you have to be organized. You have to be stern. They're looking for you to be that leader. Do you have that mentality? Obviously, this is a very, very big breed. They need a lot of space and they need a lot of time. Do you have both? So I was downtown San Diego last weekend and it really blew my mind how many people had dogs, but I don't think I could live a lifestyle like that. When you live in a apartment, you have to think, all right, I have to go down, take my dog to the bathroom. It's freaking cold. You have to see your neighbors. There's a lot that goes into that. I mean, some people are going to do it, be dedicated, do the dedication for their dog. They're going to sacrifice the cold mornings to get down there to make sure their dog uses the restroom. They're gonna sacrifice their lunches to make sure they get out and walk. You can't just let this dog sleep in a crate for eight hours plus, and then you come home and expect him to be obedient, not have accidents and listen to you. It's just not gonna happen. Let's say you do have a big yard. You, No matter what dog you have, you're gonna need to fence it in. Can you afford that? Unfortunately, this breed can be discriminated. I have heard of some dog, doggy daycares that just won't accept them. Overnight dog hotels just won't accept them, mainly because they're a big breed and known to be aggressive due to bad owners. Um, so you have to really think about that. Sometimes your home owner insurance, uh, they won't accept the Rottweiler. If you rent an apartment or rent a house, they're not going to want to be responsible for a Rottweiler. You don't think about these things and you think, oh, you know, it's just a dog. Somebody, they're going to blow, you know, they're not going to be worried about it. Trust me, when they see a big black Rottweiler, they're, they want their insurance on them. So it's really hard sometimes to get that for your house. Just like any dog... A Rottweiler is going to be a big responsibility, but since they are so smart and so intuitive, they really, really need you to be there. And if you don't have the time, the pack leader mentality, the strength, the energy, then you probably shouldn't own one of these dogs. So that there are a lot of other variables to reasons to why not get this breed. I mean, I think I hit the main points. At the end of the day, Every dog is a big responsibility. Uh, more, I think, the Rottweiler because they are so smart, intuitive, and take things so sensitively that they really do want nothing to please you and not to let you down. But when you don't really care about them, it really affects them. And that's kind of why these Rottweilers have had such bad history because people just don't give them the love and attention that they need. I really do believe that not everybody should own a Rottweiler, you know, go get a poodle, go get a lap. They are smart, they are intelligent, they are very protective. Uh, that is something that you need to nip it in the butt. Can you be able to not be afraid and be a pushover? Extremely protective when it comes to their home, their toys, their bones. So there is that happy medium of where you need to be able to tell them yes or no. Especially if you have children, children, you know, grab balls out of their mouth. That might not be a very good thing just because these Rottweilers are so protective over their property, over their people. It could be a good or bad thing. Bad thing, definitely, if you don't know how to handle it. Breed is so smart and they take things so sensitively. I think that's why sometimes they do go downhill because nobody was there to guide them. So they're just going to go into their dog instinct mode and uh, be aggressive and protect them because they don't really trust humans because they never knew how to. Do your own research, watch some videos, hang out with a Rottweiler, see the power of this dog. You know, just really make sure that this is the breed for you. I would really hate for somebody to get a puppy and just end up bad. So thank you again for always watching. Until the next time, I'll see you. Bye.